Hey everybody, this is Evan Trouse here saying welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie! In the last episode, I began my descent into Gruntilda's lair, and then opened the way into Mumbo's Mountain, which is what I explored the majority of last time. And in today's episode, I'm hopefully gonna finish off the remainder of it. So, without further ado, let us get started and rockin' and rollin' by picking up this Mumbo token right here. So yeah, now as you can see right here, there's this little switch with Gruntilda's face on it. What will this do, will you mask? Well, pretty much once you jump in the air and then do this... A jingle will pop up in Gruntilda's lair, right near the area that is in the area that you're in right now. Yeah, that makes sense, I think. Anyways, though, moving right along through here, because we didn't really get a chance to really test out our egg-sighting ability last time, let's test it out against this fine fuck right here. Be safe here, bear can hit conga. That's what you think, bird- Oh god! He's hitting me with oranges! He's hitting me with oranges! That- that's not good. That's not good at all. Yeah, all you gotta do is just hit the monkey with a couple of eggs and you'll be good. Ah! Ah! He's hitting me with that! He's hitting me with oranges! Oh my god! <laughs> that's not good. Okay. Now then. Normally this is giving me that much trouble. Why am I having so much difficulty with this? No, no. There we go, there we go. Baby, go, go. We give price to bear. And thus that yields us jiggy number eight from Mr. Conga, and now he won't he will stop pestering us with his barrage of oranges. And that yields us jiggy number eight. Hey! Okay, maybe I was wrong, he still pesters you with oranges. Asshole! Stupid monkey. Stupid monkey. <laughs> uh oh, cool, more nuts. I did not notice that. Well, now I do. Now I now I did. There we go. Cool Leo. Anyways, though, jumping right along through this little fine little game right here. Now that we have enough of those notes to really navigate the remainder of this area. Actually, wait, first things first, though. Before going to, well, okay. I was going to say I'm going to go check out Mumbo's thingamajig right here, but I still have to do this one right here. So pretty much what you got to do, just uh, fill in the um, juju mouths with uh, eggs and then it'll cause them to disappear. But before you fill in this last one, though, make sure you do this. Yeah, make sure you jump on it and flip flap jump, because that will yield us yet another extra honeycomb piece. And if I can actually hit him, there we go. We'll do this, and we'll get yet another jiggy piece. Yay! <sighs> so many jiggy pieces! But now then, now that we have five tokens, and we have pretty much completed literally everything except for one area within Mumbo's Mountain, let's put Mumbo's Magic to use. Oh, Benjo has plenty of tokens. Then let's go and press B to see Monty Mumbo Magic. So yeah, pretty much what you gotta do is you just gotta step on the switch, press B, and this will happen. At the expense of five Mumbo tokens. Whoa! He turned us into an ant! Mumbo's magic free to change back. You come with many. Turn my bite smart, but bad for curse spell. Mumbo practice, you need it. Yeah, okay, cool story, bro. But yeah, now pretty much what Mumbo does is that he can pretty much shape chip Banjo Kazooie into certain animal creatures that allow us to gain access through pretty much areas we wouldn't normally have been able to get through with just the Baron Bird themselves. So as the termite, you might be wondering what's so great about being a bug? Sounds pretty crappy, right? Well, on the contrary, this actually allows us to go through any slope in the game and incline, even those that pretty much would hinder us from using Talent Tron. So yeah, that pretty much allows us to go up here and gather this little gold honeycomb piece that I tried to get in the last episode and failed miserably at, because for some reason termites have the ability to climb up of any surface due to their fuzzy. I don't, I don't understand. How is it that how how do like ants how do bugs like have the ability to like stick and cling to walls? I've never really understood that. If someone can tell me that, I would really like to know. Because I'm a intellectually curious individual like that, and I like biology and anatomy and that kind of thing. Anyways, though, as the termite, though, if I can do this correctly, as the termite, we can jump all through this area right here, and not have to worry about falling off the edge and sliding down, because, well, God! Okay, 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 yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay! Here we go. I'm getting loud, I'm sorry. I'm getting a tad overzealous. Okay, now then, let's see if I can actually... I can do this, give me a second. I can do this. I'm being stupid. Okay, that This is like portrait of ruin all over again! Hey, where'd you get those shorts? I want them! Yeah, for some reason the ants, the termites here have an obsession with one of your shorts. It's like that kid from Pokemon. Oh crap, I just realized. <laughs> I never did the after game for Fire Red. Whoopsie Daisy! <laughs> oh boy. 
I'll probably do this after this LP. Yeah, why not? Okay, there we go. Now then, now we finally were able to jump up here. We can gather the last six notes in the game. And with that, we now have all 100 notes. Yay! You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done! Yeah! And with that, we have all 100 notes in the area, which is pretty, pretty snazzy, which means we only really have one more objective to check out within Bobo's Mountain, which is, of course, the final Jiggy, which, if you haven't figured it out by this point, is up through here. And, of course, on the highest point of the mountain, on the highest point of the mountain, and is only accessible by a tournament. So, once we do that, we can gather this, and we have officially all 10 Jiggies! Yeah! Yeah. Now, normally, if I was Banjo and Kazooie, they'd be doing a little fantastic little jig right there. But because I'm a termite, it's really not going to do anything. So that that's kind of a bummer. Also, as a termite, I forgot to mention, you cannot, you can't, you won't take fall damage if you fall from incredibly high height, which is pretty radical to say the least. I wonder what happens if I go and I think what's I think what happens when you go and yeah. Okay, this is what happens. Yeah, pretty much if you try and go into water with the termite, pretty much he'll just drop to the bottom and he'll pretty much just skedaddle his way all about this area. But that pretty much, I believe, clears up everything that's needed to be collected within Mumbo's Mountain, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, I did that in 18 minutes. That's pretty good. That's really good, actually. Damn! But yeah, don't expect uh, this. all the areas in this game to go as fast as this one did, because A, this was the introductory area, and B, uh, we have a long way to go, children. Anyways, though... Fun coming out of here. What these magic stops you from taking notes off the world? Of the hundred you just collected counts as your best note score. Try to get a hundred on each world. It's there me to open the doors. So yeah, pretty much every time you leave the level or if you die, um, pretty much the notes that you had will pretty much reset, but instead they'll save as a note score. Pretty much you want to try and strive for every hundred notes, which if you don't get them all in one single life, you're going to have to do it all over again. Yeah, it sucks big time. Not gonna lie. It's it's a pain in the arse. Anyways, though, I believe you can only do this as the termite. So what you gotta do is you just gotta jump up here and then go up here and grab yet another Jiggy right here. By hitting that switch and getting activation right there. So yeah, that's how you do it and grab it right there. But the note score thing is total BS in my opinion. It just makes the game all the more difficult, which, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm in for a challenge. But not when it's like, it's just stupid. Yeah. So yeah, uh, it's just it just sucks. I hate the note score system in this game. But yeah, as you just saw in uh, Mumbo just say, his magic gets weaker as you get further away from the uh, area or entrance. So pretty much once you reach like, a certain distance from um, the level entrance as the animal, you'll eventually just revert back into the Baron Bird. So don't worry if you're like, oh, I can explore every world again. Oh wait, no, I'm trapped as the animal. No, what will happen? No, no, don't worry about it. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. But now then, you may be thinking to yourself, infinite trials, why didn't you go up here before? That's why. So, what do we do? We use our newfound talent trot to gain access up here, and that's where it'll give us this pathway right here. And yeah, but as you can tell right here, there's bottles, there's a bottle mold hill right there. This is a new door sealed by Grunty with one of her powerful musical spells. Open it up then, Jam Jars! It's not that simple to open it. You must collect the musical notes from all the worlds. How many do we need? The number on the door is the strength of the spell. The combined total of all your best note scores from the world must be at least to break this magic. Hmm, your energy seems a little low. I'll throw it up for you. Yeah. Now, pretty much there will be certain roadblocks, I guess you could say, for each area within the game, which happen to be these note doors right here. And the only way you can get past them is if you have a higher note total throughout the majority of the game than the door mentioned right here. Seeing how I collected all 100 notes, I've already doubled the amount needed to get through here. Hang on. When you open a door, Bucky's escape and roam once more! Wow, that was an awful grunty voice. I'm sorry about that, guys. Anyways, though, seeing how I have double the amount of notes needed to get through this door, I'm pretty sure I can get through. So... Oh, yeah, also, by the way, that's the exact same dance that they do, as I was mentioning earlier. So, yeah, they'll also do that dance once you've opened up a note door. But anyways, though, now that we have officially opened up that door, let's see what's through this pathway, shall we? That door was easy. You got past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. So yeah. And now then, as moving along through here, you might notice this fat little wench right here. 
Hello there, young ones. I'm Brutilda, Gratilda's foster sister. I'm put down to here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was had a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, but I'll tell you three of them every time you fight me. Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you to avoid a fiery fate. Press B if you'd like to hear them. Now then, this is Brentilda. Remember everything she has to say. I cannot stress this point enough. Take out a pencil and paper every time you see him, children, because you will want to remember everything she say in order to escape a fiery faint. Hint, hit, nudge, nudge, foreshadowing. Quintilva brushes her throttled teeth with tuna ice cream flavored toothpaste. She also washes her hair with engine oil. Yuck! And she gets her clothes from Sandy Maggie's Boutique. Now, I also want to say this. If you're watching this LP right here and you're trying to play along with me, do not take these words from Ventilda, because they will probably be different from your game itself. Always keep track of the game you yourself are playing when talking to Ventilda. Just, just remember it. Just, just remember it for me, please, guys. Just please, 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 please. Yeah, okay, but anyways, though, moving right along right here, you'll see that there's this little, uh... A little j jiggy painting thingamajigger that we can fill. So yeah, boom, boom. Yeah, okay. I I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So as Battles just said, um, pretty much if you fill all the entire area, if you fill, if once you fill the painting, you can't pull out the jiggies and use it for other pathways. It doesn't work like that. So just get that thought out of your head immediately. Anyways, though, we've officially unlocked yet another pathway: Treasure Trove Cove. What could it be and what could lie inside? Find out next time on Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. The Infinite Trials here saying, I almost called this game Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. <laughs> and peace out, yo. Have a good one. Rate, comment, subscribe. Man, I really hope I break that. I really hope I break that habit fast.